So let me begin by talking about our newest industry, that's tourism. Uh, tourism industry is going to be online in mid-December with the opening of the Scarlet Pearl Casino, a $300 million project with a 300-room hotel. And because of that, it's a game changer for the city of Yardville. This is to bring thousands of tourists into our city over the next few years. We're talking about indoor ice hockey on synthetic ice. We're talking about indoor park racing for national tournament play. And of course, we're talking if there's an area that's being looked at for Ferris wheels and, and roller coasters and rides uh, in, in a portion of our city for the youth and for tourists alike. And of course, the professional miniature golf that's being proposed and being built by the casino, which is going to bring national tournaments to the Apple, Mississippi. So not long after Katrina, we had the charrettes that took place at the now Golden Nugget, where we designed our future cities. We adopted smart code. We moved on. And we had a very positive attitude in this city that we were going to go after every business we could. I remember waking up at 2 o'clock in the morning and hearing the president of GE talking about possible economic development. The next day, I called Warren Buffett on the telephone. I didn't get to him, but I talked to his uh, chief advisor. And he told me at that time he wasn't interested. I'm thinking about calling him back and giving him these figures that Bobby's getting ready to give y'all. And maybe it's a possibility that a company like GE would like to locate on the Gulf Coast.